Pisces, welcome to your reading for this week starting the 10th of March. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my Time to Shine Oracle decks. So your overall energy from the tarot deck, Ace of Wands, something new, new beginnings. And when it's the one suit, it's an opportunity for a fresh new start. And this card says, what are you waiting for? Your help or your hurdle, the three of pencils, is a card of resting, relaxing. It's very much a card of healing and moving on. What do you need to focus on this week? Doing your homework, doing the study, doing the research. This is what the page of coins is all about. Now the pages are messengers and they all bring a message. They all have a little envelope on the card look. And the page of coins is very much, very often in tarot, pictured reading a book because she's happy to learn. Study, research, finding out information. And then the page of coins sometimes needs a little nudge to take action based on that information. How can you help yourself? We've got the Emperor card. Very much uh, a senior figure in the tarot deck. The Emperor is all about leadership, planning, organising, getting things sorted out. This could be you stepping up into this leadership role. In a moment's notice, the Emperor is ready to go because Everything is planned in advance. So detailed planning, getting organised, getting things sorted out. Pulling it all together, we've got the King of Teacups. Now this is lovely energy. The Kings, again, authority figures in the deck. The King of Teacups absolutely personifies loving kindness, generosity, compassion, sharing. Very often in a role which will encompass these lovely uh, qualities and sharing them with other people. So you will very often find the King of Teacups energy in a volunteering role, in a charitable organisation, very much um, in a job where you are helping other people to feel better. Your final outcome card, the Two of Teacups, is all about conversations and discussions, talking things over and being crystal clear with each other. This is asking you to be absolutely clear in your communication and your understanding of each other. So discussions and conversations regarding this opportunity and this new start. It's very much an energy of healing and moving on. You need to do your homework. You need to do the research. And then here you are stepping up into this leadership role. And really following the lovely qualities of the King of Teacups, which is helping other people with loving kindness, compassion and sharing. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. With this opportunity and this new start, this is lovely, the Six of Life. It says on the card, time to enjoy gifts, abundance, new career opportunities and gratitude. So when it's the life suit, which is the pentacles or coin suit in tarot, these are new opportunities showing up in work life, home life financial life, family life. So look out for those. These lovely parcels have been delivered to the front door. So watch out for those opportunities. The nine of action says stay motivated, stay focused, keep going. This is the card of persistence and determination and self-belief. Believing that you can and then going for it. The Seven of Wisdom is lovely. This is the chariot card. What do you need to focus on? Making a move forward with balance and with discipline. 
Everything needs a plan. Everything needs a step by step. It needs thinking through. But here you are making that move. How can you help yourself? The one of thought brings in new ideas, new clarity, new information. And the one of thought says, keep going through a learning phase. Now on the card here, look, she's missed with her first attempt at the goal. But when she's missed, she now knows exactly how to hit that goal net every time. So it's learning from the things that work, learning just as much from the things that don't work. And then that's where the clarity is and that's where your new ideas and working out positive ways forward can come from. So look out, there's clarity coming in. Sometimes um, in an area where things you've not been quite sure about, here it is coming in this week. Pulling it all together, the Two of Wisdom, the High Priestess in traditional tarot says, pause, wait, think things through, then decide what you would really like to do. So you need to really step back. No rushed decisions, no rash decisions. Learn from this one of thought card. Learn from the things that have worked. Learn just as much from the things that haven't worked. When you've got all that clarity and information, think it all through carefully. And your final outcome card, the one of action. That's at the start and the end of this reading. How lovely. I'll read the card. Time to enjoy exciting opportunities. Take action and go for it. So these cards are book ending your reading. So let's just clarify the bits in between. It's a time of healing and moving on. You need to do your research. You need to find out all your information. You need to work out what, which things work and which things don't. Stay motivated. Stay positive. Move forward with the qualities of loving kindness, generosity and compassion. This could be somebody coming in to help you as well. It could also be you sharing those qualities with other people. You need to be crystal clear in your communication with other people. Get organised, make your plans because these new opportunities are here without doubt. Things that you've been working towards, things that you've been dreaming of and manifesting very much where work, career, finances and home life are featuring. That's the area that these opportunities, I feel, will be showing up in. Think it all through carefully. Again, do your homework. You really do need to find out all those small details and make sure you are fully informed on all the information. And when you've done all of that, here you are making that positive move to this fantastic new opportunity. So Pisces, what a lovely week for you. Thank you for listening to the reading. Thank you for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe. Just click that button. It's free to do so. And then you'll get notified when I do the next readings for you. So look after yourselves. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you here again soon.